need to bring my daughter in. She woke up on, I guess it was Saturday night or Friday night, throwing up um, in the night. And um, the next day, obviously, she didn't really eat or drink much. Um, but she no more throwing up after that one night. But since then, she still hasn't really wanted to eat. She drank a little bit more today. Um, and now she's got, her eyes are really red and have goopy green stuff coming out of them. She just still isn't herself. She's still just kind of weak and, um, and just wanting to lay around. So I didn't know if I should bring her or yeah. what I should do. It is 11.30 a.m. What time did you wake up? 11. You're wearing pants too, by the way. <laughs> I do have my pants, yes. <laughs> you woke up at 11 o'clock and she requested pancakes? Cereal. Actually, she first requested water and juice. Water and juice, and, and she chugged. Yes. And Daddy's on his way to go get milk right now. Because she was freaking out for some milk. We haven't given her milk in the past two days, just since she had an upset stomach. Dairy's not usually the best option. But, and a lot of people were saying on the video about her possibly being lactose intolerant, but she eats yogurt, fruit, cheese, I mean, yogurt, cheese, and milk, like, every day. And she never yeah. had a problem, so I don't think it was related to it's that. It's just a bug. Just a bug. Just a bug. So... She's going to get her some milk. And what are you eating? Her eyes are looking a little bit better than they were today. I think it may have been just like late night. Drainage. Yeah. You know how. But it was so green and stringy. You know how like, like at the end of the day, you're like, okay, I just got to go to bed. Or I'm just feeling worse as the day yeah. goes on. Yeah. Because your body just kind of goes into clean. I saw her laying in her crib like picking in her eyes this morning. So there may have been even more crust than when I got her up. But they weren't that crusty. But this one is still really red on the. <laughs> She's Whoa! Look at you, goodness. But she has woken up irritable and like she just does not feel good. She still. did have two popsicles too. What did you? <laughs> no yelling. Oh, good girl. And those are just regular like sorbet popsicles. Just give her some little flavor, savor. Oh, mommy. Okay. Okay. So that's a little quick update. Seems to. Be a little she irritable. Seems to not feel I think good. Katie said it a minute ago. She I think it just hit her that she hasn't eaten or drinking really in three days. So she's like, ah, she's all shaky and stuff. So I'm gonna go get her some milk and some more fruits and stuff. We kind of cleaned out everything in the fridge last night because we hadn't been here in two weeks. So everything had gone bad. So we are empty in the fridge department uh, for the most part. So I'm gonna go get all that fresh stuff and see if we can get her back on her feet. Another case of running for <clears throat> three things come out with 40. Oh, we need this, we need this. Oh, we also need this. Oh, look at that, it's on sale. Oh, this looks really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. I've gotta clean up some cat litter that got all over the place. So I'm gonna get a little shop vac, cause that'll make things easier. And I don't want to mess up the nice Dyson and make it start smelling like cat litter. You know, just those type of things. Everything in the store seems to be finding Dory. And I can't, like, figure out where she is. It's like the new, where's Waldo? Like, let's find Dory. So I go and I pick up something and it's like, find Dory. And I'm like, well, there she is right there in the box. Well, I mean, and then you pick up something else. It's like, find Dory. Is this really the real Dory? I don't know. But, so what's that all about? She's like, dang, I need to get sick more often. This is awesome. <laughs> I really think when she woke up, she was just like dehydrated from the past few days yeah. and was just like so thirsty and hungry. Hey, buddy. Did you miss it? Hey, buddy. 
He is such an emotional cat. Like, I think next time we're gonna have to like get like somebody to come just stay when we're going. Because he's been, very, he's been sad. very sad. Literally all night last night when we got home and in the middle of the night. Meow. Meow. And he didn't eat a whole lot while we were gone either. Yeah. But we went back and watched some other footage. He had all the food in the world, but he just went into like starvation mode. They're never well, coming if, back. If y'all remember too, he, he does get very emotional. After Gaines was born, he stayed in the top of our closet for like, what, a oh, month? Oh gosh, I forgot about that. I mean, he would come down and eat, but he lived up there. When our old dog died back like uh, six years ago, he didn't eat for like two weeks yeah. and lost some weight. And He, gets, he like jumps up on the couch and just rubs all over you now and everything. Him and MG missed each other. Ain't that right, Bubba? Hey. Hey, buddy. sleeping for about an hour and then just started crying while she's asleep she never does that I think we're gonna take her to the hot doctor and see if she's got like an ear infection or something else is going on so why did you tell me to do that I didn't know if she did or not I don't know, maybe she doesn't. Maybe she just tooted. Did she have a fever? No. You okay, baby? Why well, you still don't feel good? She goes back and forth. Like she was better this morning. Or this And then she didn't want to eat her, lunch. Yeah. And we've been keeping her on top of it with the ibuprofen and Tylenol. Let's just call them and see if we can take her in. You didn't have lunch before your nap. Remember that? Maybe you just woke up hungry. Maybe so. Yeah. You remember that mac and cheese was cooking? Yeah. You want some water? You're just getting all the treatment. <laughs> want more? More water? Yeah. No. You want some more mac and cheese? Daddy, get it. I got it. Ellie cat. I was calling to see about if I need to bring my daughter in. She woke up on, I guess it was Saturday night, or Friday night, throwing up um, in the night. Okay, that'd be great. Morning, so I'm thankful. She seems a little bit better, but then this afternoon she just woke up crying and just hasn't, she just seems like she can't get comfortable, like something's just hurting her. I'm on. Sweet little you know baby. she doesn't feel good when she lays her head on your shoulder. That's like rare. I'm a sweet girl. Did you tell them that they said we could come in like right now? I don't now? think so. Yeah, Katie called and they were like, all right, well, come on in. So He's going to make you feel better, okay? And then you'll get another sticker. <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at you. I'm getting your weight. Okay. Oh, no. You kidding? Yeah. Oh, you had a little fever. 99.3. Maybe that's why you're acting crazy. No. You got some more gunk in your eyes. Her eyes gotten so red just yeah, in the last just hour. Yeah, just in the last like few minutes. It was looking better this morning, which is why I was like, well, maybe she doesn't need to go. Look at how purple it is underneath. Mm -hmm. And like the white part of it's so red. And she's got green little gunkies. And you know she's not right when she just wants to lay down. Hands. Two hands. Yeah, you can get a sticker on the other hand when we get done, okay? We'll see what happens. We're gonna get you better, okay? Love you. 
All right, as soon as we walked in, he was like, uh, I know what it is, I know what it is. <laughs> he looked in her ear and tonsils and everything like that. He wrote it down, it is Haemophilus Influenza, and he's given us some Augmentin that we gotta get refrigerated. And uh, This one's one she had before that didn't work, and this is an injection that is not so fun. Very painful, so. he said. So we're yes. going with the first option, and he said he's seen it before. Her face is on fire. So she's got a little, little ear, ear infection, infection, a little tonsil infection, and a little eye infection. Yes. Basically, the whole right side of her face is infected. Yes. I'm oh, sorry, baby. And, and it's her, just a bug. It's, it's not just something a, a from bacterial. Yes. Bacterial infection. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go get these prescriptions filled. Yes. Oh no, James. There's Mickey Mouse. There's Mickey Mouse. Can you say hi to Mickey Mouse? Say hi, Mickey. Say hi now. Okay. A sticker? Is there stickers in the bottom? You got a Mickey sticker? <laughs> she just said, I done home. We got it. Wait, did we get a prescription? At Target, we got uh, okay, it. Okay, it's already filled. You want to wear okay. it? Where do you want to wear it? You want to put it on? On my arm. On your other one. On arm. your other arm. So the good thing is, is that right. it is all in her face. He said it's the tonsils, the nostrils, the sinuses, and the. Uh, Ears. He's it kind of is a three combo it's infection. It's highly contagious. It's highly contagious. So we're getting some eye drops. He said the antibiotic will clear up all of it, but the eye drops just help the eye gunk to not be as right. contagious so quick. And so that's why her eyes are so red because she obviously was rubbing them and everything like that. He let me actually look down her ear in the little thing, and I've never seen like what an ear infection looks like. Mm -hmm. I've always wondered, and you can tell from one ear to the other. Like I could total to, tell a total difference in her ears. So uh, one is a little got a little more infection than the other. And then yeah, the other he said fine. her tonsils they were full of pus, and he could see that as well. Her right tonsil. Almost. Her right. Yeah. It's just interesting. He was like, this thing attacks like one side of the face usually. Yeah, it's just crazy. That's crazy. And he said he was funny too, but he he was reading her charts before we walked in. He said. He's gotten to no viruses now. <laughs> he said he's, he's had some patients where he walks in, he's like, yep, I smell strep. Hey, strep, what's going on? Let's take care of you. So, just funny, I love him. He's a good uh, pediatrician, knows what he's talking about, so. What did he say, after two days, she's not contagious anymore. The third day, she should be feeling a little bit better, and the fourth day, she should be like, back to herself. But yeah. she does have to take the antibiotics for 10 days. So I gotta go get some antibiotics. And this is only the second time in her life she's had to take antibiotics. She That's had a crazy. knee infection when she was, Six months old. So let's go get this prescription filled and hopefully we're on the road to the better MG. Let's get this kid uninfected. I don't know, her whole face was infected. <laughs> That's another thing he said. He said it's just funny. Everything from here down, if you cut her head off, she'd be fine. <laughs> but everything up here is just all messed up. So But it is not something that she got from swimming or from being at the beach or anything like that. Oh, and he did say that the throwing up was probably caused by sinus pressure. This causes like sinus pressure and the side of her face is affected and she'll like it'll make her cough because her throat's irritated and then that's probably what made her throw up. Right. So. So. There comes the best daddy getting all the stuff from Target. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Daddy. <laughs> she just said, Yay daddy, all done. Yeah, all done. I'm so glad that Colin was home and we were able to go together so that I didn't have to drag her in not feeling good and to Target and you were able to get it. Did we they have go. the eye drops? No, we gotta go to the next CVS. <sighs> oh, I just missed it on the camera. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> that would Granberry was going down the slide. Oh, yes. Are you feeling good enough to slide now? Granberry came to lift the spirits and look, she's acting like normal now. Mm. All of a sudden. Isn't that how it always goes? You go to the doctor and then you leave and they start acting normal? Yeah. Well, it's crazy. It's something to do with the M&M's that <laughs> That's true. You brought her a thing of M&M's. Granberry is here. She's going to come eat some dinner with us. She brought over goods for hamburgers too. We're about to grill out some hamburgers. Oh, so, yeah. And as soon as we get back from the doctor's office, um, our air is currently reading 77. It's set on 72 and it's blowing out warm air. warm air and We have a guy coming to look at it right now But this was the same thing that happened exactly one year ago almost to the day like, I think it was on my time hop yesterday that I was calling air conditioning people yeah. like what the so, heck? I don't know did they Crazy. put a one year a one year warranty on that and so then day after one year it went out <laughs> This is a hack I saw on Pinterest so Gaines got her medicine, and then you write your little thing on there for how many days she's supposed to take it, and you put AM and PM, and check it off, because who can ever remember, like, did I give that to her this morning? And like, how many days do we have left? Genius, so. just check it off. Oh, boy. 
Oh, it's a that? ring popsicle. Okay, look, you put it on your fingers like this. I'm gonna pick out a, a lime green one. Ooh. My goodness, that's good. Is it good? Mm. You need a napkin in case it drips? In case. <laughs> <laughs> when? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is so hot in here. When's the AC guy coming? 9 p.m. is when he said he'll be here. And you said let's just wait for him to come tomorrow. You'd be oh. done. You want we got fans set up in the dining room. That'll make your eyes feel better. Oh, oh Grandma yeah. got you some 4th of July sunglasses. Look at That'll you. Uh, right yeah. Outside. Is it bright inside too? Oh, that might help you sleep good too. I mean, uh, walk around good too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because now you got to take them to BED. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep looking for her until I find her. Is there like a prize or something?